Okay, a quick review on how to deal with root questions here. Now, we have two graphs, and because of time, I want to make this clip very short. We have a hyperbola, and our hyperbola is giving us g of x equals to 2 over x plus p plus q. Um, and we are given a symptote as y equals to 1 and x equals to negative 1. Oh, so it means this equation can be written, therefore, like that. Now, we have another straight line. It says the line y equals to x intercepts the hyperbola in the first quadrant at s. Okay, we have that point and that point. That's not the focus. So we have a, a line y equals to x. Now, quickly, what do you want to tell me from here? Just by seeing this, my gradient is 1. Remember, y equals to mx plus c. It means it is x plus 0. Let's take note of that. My gradient is 1. Now, for which values of k will the equation g of x equals to x plus k have two real roots that are of opposite signs? Um, it is important for, to make this question very easy. What are roots? Let's quickly explain something here. Roots. Generally, roots are known as solutions. And these solutions can be found out by finding the point of intersection between two functions. Between two. So if you understand the meaning of root life becomes very easy. Point of intersection. Points. Put S there. Point of intersection between two functions. So if I were to go back to this graph, which I've drawn nicely here. Oh, lovely. Sketch this out here. This is my y equals to x and my g of x. Now, if you first check, those are my first roots. And the root here is a positive value. And the root here, the x value, is a negative one. Okay. But the examiner now says that g of x is equal to x plus k. If I study this equation very well, that is a straight line, okay, straight line, and my gradient is 1. Oh, it means that this line must be parallel to my y equals to x. So I'm going to use different inks to draw. I need a point where both of them would meet and one of them will be positive, one point of intersection, roots positive and the other one negative just like we have here a positive point of intersection and a negative so let's start let me draw this what do you notice now my lines are parallel it means my gradient is still one uh, remember now that's k here for me k is zero we spoke about zero okay let's see oh positive and negative so we're still good i'm going to keep drawing what do we have positive and negative. We're still good. I'm going to draw another one. Let's check. I want to check something here. Hold on. Let me push this up a little bit. What do we have here? There's a problem here. This one is now negative and negative point of intersection. Values of x. Ah, I am looking for where both of them are of opposite signs. So this particular one will not work for me. Let's draw something else quickly to save time. Remember what we are looking for, point of intersection. Okay, if I were to do that, this, what do I have? I've got a zero and a negative. Mm, zero is a neutral number. I want something of positive and negative. By the way, all of these represent my K. Okay? So if I want positive and negative, look at this color. Let's change it. It must be something like that from where look at the purple one all right let's start from here negative and negative do you see that there zero and negative i want something of opposite signs oh anywhere below do you see anywhere below it keeps touching positive and negative anywhere below okay just make that line all right anywhere below all of this would still work for me but where does this stop this stops right at just below what? Three. Okay, so anywhere here, anywhere below three, it means my K should be less 
then three. Hope it makes sense. That's how to deal with your roots. Just understand that this line is a bit skewed, but understand that line uh, roots are point of intersection of two functions. Let's try to draw something. Yeah. So there we go. So as long as your K, remember this line is parallel, falls below three, then we're done. We have a positive and negative root. Goodbye.